All right, project for today is transforming this outdoor living space to something really cool. This is Right Tools here to help me, but she's kind of shy. So let's go. So my goal for this is to get the pavers right next to the porch being perfectly flush and then kind of just barely slope it away from the house so that water flows that direction. Um, I think if we do that, when we get to that end, the pavers might be pretty close to flush, if not just a tiny bit of a step down to the grass on that side. So it could be pretty cool. So this spot also gets a lot of shade and so the grass doesn't grow great right there it was fine the grass grew up you know all the way to the patio when i did my sand leveling project i put sand pretty thick all over the yard but it was late enough in the year that it didn't recover great right in here you probably saw that before i chisel all this up there was a lot of sand there's still a lot of sand there but one of my mottos is that if you've got a spot in your lawn that you don't like take it out and put something else in like a flower bed or in this case a patio Yeah, so these pavers we were inheriting from my parents. They took out a huge walking path that they had put in. And so we got all those for free. I just found a dime. We're up 10 cents. So Mrs. Right Tool just went around the corner. So I get to uh, say this in privacy now that uh, this was all her idea. I'm not completely wild about having some obstacle in the middle of the yard that I have to mow around, but she did a great job. And the plan is to make a flower bed kind of sloping away from the end of this patio into the side of the house so that when I'm mowing, I can kind of follow a slope, it's kind of a curved path instead of having to mow in this little area right here, which would be really annoying. And then like jut back out and have a lot more to weed eat. We're gonna make flower beds to uh, make it a lot easier to get around this obstacle. Also, when the kids' toys are out here in the middle of the summer, this is gonna be a great place for them just to be able to sit, like let a little water table or pool sit out to dry because other than that, they would usually sit out in the lawn and that was not okay with me. So I, I like this way better. Check it out. Speakers that look like rocks. Oh, let's crank up some tunes. That's to all you kids that thought you'd never use the Pythagorean theorem again. Hear that, Theo? Hey, my eyeball it. Well, that's right. Mrs. Right Tool did eyeball it, and she was exactly on until Little Tool went and moved it, and then we measured it again. But she did get it exactly right just by eyeballing it. She's always right, guys. You got that? Mama is always right. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. It smells like garlic. Smell it. Yeah. It smells like garlic. It's Mama Nature's mosquito juice. It's from Mama. No, Mama Nature's mosquito juice. It's gonna keep our lawn mosquito and tick free all season long. 
it'll scare the mosquitoes away and it'll kill them dead. Whoa. And ticks too. Yeah. But it's safe for pets, pollinators, aquatic life, and for little tool. So like we can step on it? Yeah. What music were you listening to first? On the uh, speakers that look like rocks? Yeah. We were listening to this. Okay, so we're taking all this grass that I'm cutting up in like little chunks of sod, you know, like, I don't know, little plate-sized chunks of sod, putting it over there by Sweet Oak Hollow so that I can start grass growing before I get uh, any seed even put down in this other area over here. Day two, uh, it's cold. As you can see, there's some snow on the roof. It did snow last night, so I'm basically Connor Ward, working out here in the snow. It was like a blizzard. Um, got a friend here, that's Ryan. Okay, so Mrs. Right Tool, everybody. She's probably been on the channel less than Mrs. Left Tool, even though they've only been <laughs> married for like <laughs> a few weeks. The story of the outdoor living space. <laughs> She's the one with the vision. I have no vision. Left Tool has some good vision. Left Tool basically in his head designed the chipping green thing and I just kind of am along for the ride. Same thing here. She said, I think you wanted a patio bef before, yeah, so before my parents even had these pavers available, she wanted this patio extended and I was always pretty resistant because something extra to mow around. But we came to what, uh, like a compromise because, not really a compromise, just a problem solving, I guess, because the patio is going to be out there, a rectangle, and then we're going to make the, the flower beds kind of curve in away from that to the side of the house so when I'm mowing, I can just go along the curve and then follow it and go along the patio. Because it's all about mowing. It's all about the mowing. And I was kind of like, uh, like we're gonna cut out, you know, 12 more feet into the yard, but now that I'm extending, what, 7,000 square feet that way, I guess I can make a little bit of a sacrifice. Hmm. <laughs> we're, we're gonna move this patio furniture out there. We don't really know, I guess. No. The, the the end goal, and I'll keep you posted, I'm gonna get all this done, but is to have, get some posts on the corners of the patio, some lights out here strung around every each way, uh, a bunch of flowers, a little walking path through the flower bed going out that way, and move my fire pit to that corner, do like a pea gravel bed with the fire pit in the middle, we can put chairs out there all around the fire pit, instead of right now where it is, is where I'm gonna do my Monaco Bermuda grass seed, and so I want to move it. And because it's also really soggy out there, yeah. uh, at least until I get dirt work done. So I'm gonna move the fire pit out to that corner. But building a paver patio, what you're supposed to do is dig it out, put gravel, put like, what is it, driveway base or road base gravel in, pack it down like crazy, water it, pack it down, water it, pack it down, 
We're not doing that. Right? Right. We Which... dug it out and put sand. I tried to dig it out as little as possible so that the ground is still hard there. And then I put sand down so that we can make it nice and flat. So this isn't... I mean, to be fair though, this is Arkansas, so there's a lot of rock. I this is rocky it. soil, yeah, so... There probably is a lot of rock right under there, so it might not end up being bad at all. I've been tamping down as much as possible to pack it down. I, I'm not. We, this is a free project, actually. We got the pavers for free. The sand is sitting in a pile right over there. I guess you could argue whether or not that's free because I bought it in the first place, but it's it's just sitting there right now. Um, the pavers were free. My parents tore out a whole long sidewalk thing they had, and we picked up all the good pieces, and uh, so those were free. The labor was free. A um, and that's the point. We didn't want to spend really anything. So on yeah, it. I didn't want to have to get gravel delivered or buy it or go to Lowe's, whatever. We're social distancing. Um, probably come up with lots of excuses, but this is the way we're doing it. This is not how you are supposed to do it. Just know that cars aren't parking out here. You know, it's just going to be these chairs that we're sitting on right now, sitting over there with like that table in between. So not a big deal. All right, let's do this. Baby tools gonna wake up any minute. She wants the project done now. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we went and had a little break. We went and ate dinner over at my mom's house, over at Grandma Tool, Mama Tool. I'm not sure what we're calling her. Um, but we went and had a break, and we came back and finished. We had just 17 more squares to get from the front, and finish that last row back there. And we're gonna wait on the paver set on the what's it called? And we're gonna wait on the paver set on the polymeric sand because it's supposed to rain tonight. So I was kind of back and forth. I was like, eh, let's just go ahead and throw it down. But the directions definitely say not to do it if it's gonna rain within 24 hours. So I guess we'll get to see if anything happens when it rains. If it rains really hard and washes some of this sand out and we have to like tear up part of it and re-level it or whatever, I don't know. We'll see what happens with the rain. But uh, I guess maybe Probably not tomorrow. I think it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, but then the next day maybe we, we put the paver set down, throw that polymeric sand in the cracks, and then you wet it down just like with a hose to kind of to activate it. But anyway, I guess that does it for this video. So this is part one of the uh, outdoor living space series, and we'll keep you posted on all the changes that are going to take place. I don't know if I told you all that we're planning on doing, but maybe I'll keep that a secret. So anyway, we'll catch you later, lawn tools.